The China-U.S. Tourism Leadership Summit was held on Friday in Yinchuan, northwest China's Ningxiahui Autonomous Region. As an important event of the China-U.S. Tourism Year, it has attracted officials and experts from both countries. It is expected to bring more benefits to tourism sectors of China and the United States. We are very excited about this leadership summit. We think it's a wonderful opportunity for the United States and for China and the leaders from our provinces and from our states to be able to share lessons that they've learned about best practices and how to promote destinations to tourists. And we think it's a wonderful opportunity for us to know each other as people and to become friends. And we're really looking forward to a productive summit between China and the U.S. to share travel and tourism best practices. The summit will promote the tourism industry in China, especially for Ningxia this time. The combined number of tourists from China to the U.S. and from the U.S. to China has nearly exceeded 5 million in recent years. Well, it's very exciting that the travel flows between the two countries are increasing. So the number of uh, U.S. citizens coming to China has grown and the number of Chinese visitors to the U.S. continues to be strong. And what's exciting about our governments is we have a special cooperative relationship in travel and tourism, so we can work on exciting policies that make it more productive for visitors. So the visa validity extension was a very important development, and the U.S.-China Tourism Year announced by President Obama and President Xi is another important development that will increase travel between our two countries.